Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Soft Trevor. In this video, I'm explaining the information related to the how to become a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Alpha 2 Beta. Okay, so I'm just landing on this Student Ambassador Program Handbook page. So in this page, I'm just clicking the Advanced Milestone. Okay, in this Advanced Milestone, I'm just go through the step by step procedure. Right now, your position is Alpha, and if you are if you are interested to become a Beta, then what you have to do? There is a multiple way you can uh, get the batch of beta but I am in this video I am explaining the whole things like how to do the and how to become a, a beta okay so just right now I am in alpha so if you want to become a alpha to beta just clicking to alpha to beta okay in this clicking on the page I am just landing on this thing you have to create the event you can sharing the information related to the any topic related to the Microsoft ha has already mentioned like topics like which types of topic in this you can organize the event okay so I can share you the topic if you are organizing the event in a universities or any virtual or as if you are interested to organize the cloud skill challenge then you can also create the cloud skill challenge okay these are the three path in this path you can whatever you can choose it your path and you can uh, do the task and you definitely become a beta ambassador so you can see that there is a student ambassador like if you want to unlock your beta uh, achievement so you just create the event so i'm just clicking the check out the hosting event tab okay so in this hosting event tab you can see that there is a lot of topics are there in this topic you can create the event you can create the challenges okay you can create the courses whatever you want see so these are the incentive form this is the last step you have to fill this form firstly you have to create the challenge okay which types of challenge you have to create it according to what you want these are the cloud skill challenge okay so I am just go through the cloud skill challenge page and uh, see like what is the procedure I have mentioned there so I'm just go through the one by one step procedure okay so first you have to choose the select the learning collection like pick the date pick the dates and select the learning collections so I'm landing on this page you can see that challenge create form this is challenge create form I am just uh, I have already created my challenge but I can share you the information how to challenge how to create the challenge so don't be a panic okay so this is my challenge I have created so what do you have to do this is the Microsoft learn website okay this is the Microsoft learn website in this account option you just go to the profile option in this profile option you uh, just have you you see that there is a collection option is there in this collection option you can create a new collection okay in this new collection you want to write whatever your collection name suppose I am writing my uh, channel name suppose I'm taking the so I'm just putting my channel name and I want to put a description earlier then you can write the description this is my software collection was created okay so and uh, now I'm just go to the learning page now I'm going to the learning page okay and uh, in this in this learning page in this learning page you can see that this is the Microsoft uh, learning page in this learning page there is a uh, 4845 modules are there you can search your according to your topic like suppose I am creating the uh, DevOps and I am creating the Azure Development Associate so suppose I am creating an Azure you can searching the Azure okay topic and according to your topic you can add the like fundamental of response where you have a fundamental of AI concept according to your topic you can add the modules suppose if if I want to add this module you can just add on this section and you click on those like I'm creating this software so I'm creating this software uh, soft server uh, challenges okay collection in this collection I can add and I can save these modules so you have this you can see that there is a added and if you again if you again go to the profile so I, I'm taking two to three example for you and again I'm adding this uh challenge 
okay again I am adding this collection okay then again I am go to the profile section and in this profile section I am just uh, clicking the collection page okay in this collection you can see that the uh, soft server there is a three item it means three modules is added in this uh, challenge okay so you can add minimum 10 modules these are the three modules you can see one two three these are the three modules you can add minimum 10 modules okay so minimum 10 modules and you can write the description what you want to description you can write the description you can write the uh, you can write the collection name and you can get the link if you are adding this thing you can see that like I have created my challenge Azure fundamental and as developer so in this link you can see that I am uh, written the uh, like title description and I am creating a uh, 11 modules uh, challenge okay these are the link these are the link I am copying the link so these this challenge has been created okay but right now this is not created but I can create my courses okay so these are my courses is created so I am landing on just uh, this page and you can see that there is some uh, information are mentioned ambassador may submit the maximum of 10 challenge create request per month okay you can you can submit maximum like 10 uh, ch challenge created per month okay allow five uh, business day for request to proceed your challenge like if you are applying for if you are filling the form then then at least uh, five five days before you can fill the form because in these five days they uh, can review your course where you can you review your challenges and after five days maybe you can get the link you can you can get the uh, link okay in this link your contribution id has been added but right now you can see your contribution id is not be added so and the the important thing like if you are filling the form then you can see that the challenge is started in after the three week if you are filling the form then you can uh, you can like i'm just showing i'm just clicking the challenge create form yeah so this form is open see my name is mentioning there and what is my topic i'm just putting my topic so my topic is azure fundamentals i'm clicking the topic and where is my page I'm just putting my topic and again uh, my description is this I'm just copying my description and I'm just putting my description and I'm choosing my date right now today is the 27 April so I'm just starting uh, around 15 or 17 May is my starting date okay I think it is uh, it is after three week challenge will, challenge will be created and the close date will be your what you want like suppose I want to uh, do the 25 or 25 okay or maybe uh, 30 like 31 it's fine so and this you can see that the own collection you have created your own collection because your own collection is uh, is a basically for beta if you want to uh, become a beta uh, ambassador then it's a mandatory to fill up this uh, you can create your own collection and if you don't want to uh, beta then simply you can go through the pre-made program for uh, collection and in this collection you can choose the whatever link i have see, uh, you can see that in this page there is a uh, some pre-made collections are there so there is some pre-made collections are there if you want to get these types of voucher and uh, you can do these courses but right now I want to become a beta investor so that's why I'm choosing this uh, my own collection okay so I'm not pre I'm not go to the pre-made program collection I'm choosing the, my own collection and in this collection in this providing url i am pasting my uh, url so you can see my url is this is my url so i am just pasting my uh, url and send i am just submitting my send button okay 
so these are the form you have to fill the form okay these are the form so after you can after you submit the form you can see uh, we will add your sharing ids and send the challenge you are in your mail after the, like 5 days uh, if you get you got the mail from the microsoft team and right now your challenge link is like this okay right now your challenge link is like this but after you got the uh, challenge you got the link from the microsoft team you can see that uh, there was in the last session your contribution id has been added but right now your contribution id has not been added so you don't need to share at that time if you are getting from the microsoft link then you can share from anywhere okay and when the challenge is started then your work is countable okay right now your challenge is not to be startable then if you are doing any task there your work is not to be countable if your candidate if your student to the task then their work is not to be monitoring and you can you can't get this benefit from them okay so after you can get the link you have to go through the microsoft uh, website you can uh, fill the event registration form okay so what is, where is the event registration form when you landing on this page you can you can see that there is a event option is there if you are clicking on the event option then you can see that there is some student who created the event so simply you have to create your event okay see these are the student who have created the event okay so i am created my own so i am just go through the my profile my account in this my account you can see this is my event options is there in my event option and you can create your add event option in this add op option you can choose there is a not a pri uh, private you can choose the public because your event may you event is publicly okay and in this same you can simply put your title you can simply put your description you can a target your audience like developer a like format like this is your this is the online courses you can in the select type you can choose none because sorry other you can choose the other and you can select the technology in this which technologies area you have to create the challenge in this additional you can set your time zone and you can set your starting date uh, like which date the challenge will started which date the challenge is closed start date in date in time start time okay event url like in this url after 4 to 5 days you you got the link from the microsoft team so that link you have to put on their uh, event url okay and in this photos or recording url you just simply are taking a screenshot from this challenge okay like that in this not right way like if you are seeing your challenge was created you can see and that page there is a time of timer options are started so if you are so at that time you can just taking the screenshot and simply you have to upload the um, drive and you can share the link on on this page okay then you can simply uh, which types of acquire skill like you are a event organizer for manager and after you can submit the approval submit for approval okay so these are the form you have to fill it so my uh, this task is also be done my this task is also be done okay and then you have to create the form okay in which form if the candidate have done the courses they fill the form because uh, if if the 100 student have completed your challenge then you got 10 linkedin premium or 10 xbox watch or what you want you have to create the form but in this form you can show the detail about you can see there is a mentioning on the website like uh, make sure to collect participate con contact information and learn pro profile name for event incentive uh okay incentive distribution for the like if you, if the candidate have done the courses then you can share the incentive from the mail so i can simply i have created my form so this is my uh i have created earlier this is my form in this form those candidate have done the courses they can fill the form how to do the create a form simply you can um, you can just clicking on the microsoft you can just searching on the microsoft form there is a note any Are different. You can search simply Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft 
form in this form uh, you just clicking on link and you have landing on the page you sh you can check you can log in this microsoft student ambassador uh, mail id because if you are logging the another email id then the uh, then the your attendance you will fill the form then after the 10 candidates have filled the form then they got they don't have a permission to fill the form because you have a student ambassador then you have this you uh, you can access the premium facilities okay so i have you can simply create the form okay there is a new uh, form option is that you can simply click the new form option in this form you can simply write the title you can write the description what you want to write you can simply uh, just copy from this and copy from this and you can simply paste from this and i can already create the form i can share you in the description box so these are my form okay these are my i have created my form so this is my form you can see my preview okay so these are i have i have already my created my form so in this form i can get the response from the candidate like which candidates have filled the form and i can give i can get the notifications i can get the all information like how many candidates have done the courses okay this work is also be done okay the next thing is share the challenge you are with the local and online community it is like if you definitely you have to share this link like you want more visitors have come and to complete the challenges so you can uh, definitely share the you can use these types of hashtag because it is a very helpful for you to get the more audience attraction on the linkedin on social media okay and definitely you can include the declaimer 16 plus ages uh, candidates can done these courses these are the something you have to do and if if the your challenges has been uh, created you, you the candidate have completed the challenge you can simply fill the incentive form show you how to fill the incentive form this is the incentive form okay in this form you have to uh, mention your challenge starting days like um, challenge starting days and uh, uh, your challenge event or uh, title okay submitted from the student manager website and in this uh, in this like how many candidates have done the courses you can simply write the number of like how many interest and in this uh, the fourth option what you want to choose the incentive from the if uh, for like for the attendees like which types of uh, premium facilities you have to choose like gaming voucher or linear premium voucher you can choose it and uh, in it is for yourself like uh, you are a better you can organize the challenges so it's for you so you can choose what you want and after that you can simply uh, write your name and send me the email receipt and you can just submit the form okay so these are the incentive from after like around approx three weeks the whole challenge was ended and after the event event incentive forms are reviewed reviewing review, you can you can get the mail from the microsoft team like related to the microsoft incentive you got the incentive from microsoft throughout these courses you are becoming a beta ambassador i hope in this video i am explaining all about related to the microsoft beta ambassador so please subscribe my channel for more update thank you guys all the best have a nice day